some summer salute. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, Chris and Lon here for your viewing pleasure. You right, Chris? I'm not bad actually. Happy non stop summer morning, everyone. To one and all. We've got horrible history's gory games coming up in a minute. Fantastic. And following that, at ten o'clock, we have a plethora of horrible histories. Plethora. A plethora. I have a penchant for plethora. A, bon a plethora of horrible histories and gory games to see you through to afternoon. Yay! But first, what? I thought maybe. Yeah. We can have a game of beach ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh, still, stupid ball. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. Now, does this belong to you? But, but, that's my ball! Thus, <laughs> it is your ball. You shouldn't have been playing with it down to your meat. You were disturbing the peace. I hate this summer. Especially when you lot start messing around with my beach and chucking your inflatables about willy nilly. <laughs> wow. Okay, you're a bit crabby. Of course I'm crabby, love. I'm Krabby Crab. It says so on me, Roch. No ball games by order of Krabby Crab. Yeah, I hate the summer holidays. Now go away before I snap. Little crustacean humour for you there. Whoa, no, whoa, no. No one, no one dislikes the summer holidays. Oh, well, Chris, well, you never know. Maybe some of the viewers do. I mean, I've had a few bad holidays. Yes, a few. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, and maybe you should just go out and get, get lost, won't you? London Bridge, or whatever you're calling yourself these days. That lot make my summer rubbish, messing up my beach and dropping remnants into me rock pool. Crabby saying what? Did he just hit me? Did he well, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's what? got a point, though. Maybe you guys have had a terrible summer the last few days. Maybe you've had one before. If, if so, let us know. Email in. Yeah, yeah, maybe, like, you've broken your leg, maybe you've got chicken pops, maybe you had a really bad experience in Tenerife. Email in at CBC. <laughs> at bbc.co.uk. Yes, email in your stories, maybe your photos, maybe you've been sat around bored. If so, give us pictorial evidence. Let us know. Remember to ask permission from a parent or guardian. Yeah. We'll check out some of your emails after Horrible History's Gory Games. Yeah, yeah email them in. <laughs> Is there nothing you like? Well, you know what, Chris? I do love lamb. The meat. Give for what? a little slice. Lazarette, salute, happy hey. non-stop summer, Chris. What are you... That's so weird. <laughs> Chris and Lon here for your viewing pleasure. And it's the morning. Morning, Mum. Morning. Hey, hey. Right, Dad. Right, so we've got Dick and Dom. Ooh, Dick and Dom is split a lot, and it's brand new coming up next, so make sure you watch it. It is a, definitely a visual treat. Yeah. But you guys have been telling us all about what non-treats you've been having, really, mm. isn't it? Terrible summer holidays you had, past, and, of course, present. Yeah, some of you have been having some really terrible holidays. Yes, and I'm one of those people. You're not a person, though, are you? You're, you're a crab. Still counts. I'm having a miserable time. Oh, right. Right. Well, we asked you guys to see if you were having a miserable time, and some of you really are. Listen to Emily. Right. Emily Jane said, once I broke my wrist, then I was I was only allowed to take off the cast when I got back to school. So I had to spend all my holidays nowhere near the beach, which means nowhere near you, crab face. Yes. Keep away from my rock pool. I'm choosy about who goes near that. Oh, Emily Jane, that sounds pretty terrible. You are weird. No, Maybe not. you've had an even worse holiday than Emily Jane. Then let us know about it. CBBC at bbc.co.uk. Give us your horrible, hot summer holiday stories and photos of you being bored or maybe like really sort of really puddle drenched campsites uh. or just tell us all about it. Remember to ask permission from a parent or guardian to send the photos and the stories to that address. Send some photos in. Let's have a look. <laughs> You do that. A little cheer you up. It's time for the non stop star challenge. Non stop star challenge. Okay, so can I do this challenge? Let's go. No! This is harder than it looks. Does that count? Oh no, it's fallen off. Oh no, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. <laughs> okay. Am I running out of time? I need one more. Ah! That's not that bad, is it? That's not that bad. It's not that bad at all to 97 points. Well done. You are right here. Tomorrow, Leah from Newsman's doing it to see how she got on. Mm, time now for a lovely bit of non-stop summer fun in Splat a Did you say lamb a lot? No, I said Splat a lot. I love lamb. Not a fan of Dick and Dom, if I'm honest. <laughs> Easy. 
Well, hello to you all, and a special hello to Grandma Myrtle, because we know you're watching. How are you Hi, doing? Grandma. Yeah, Myrtle. Coming up in a moment this non-stop summer morning is brand new Scoop featuring our very own Hacker T Dog, yes. and isn't he a treat? He's a little bit of a treat. He's a wonderful treat. But first, you guys have been sending in your emails telling us about your horrible summer holidays. We're trying to prove to Crabby Crab that other people can have worse holidays than him. I hate the summer holidays, Chris. <laughs> I hate it. People come around to me rock pool and contaminate it with moch. I'm not happy about it. I'm miserable, if anything. <laughs> we can tell. Yeah, let's see if your holidays have been worse than Krabby Crab. You've been sending in your emails. Let's have a gander. This has been sent in by Izzy, and it's a picture of her brother, Zach, who has broken his arm. Oh, he's so cute, Chris. <laughs> but see, he's still smiling, isn't he? See, he doesn't have to be depressed he's broken his arm. How about that, Krabby? You don't have to be upset because you're having a horrible summer. Zach's not in a way. He's broken his arm. Now, imagine if he'd broken his claw. He wouldn't be laughing then. He, he doesn't yeah, have... He doesn't, doesn't have claws. claws. Anyway, this email from Sophie from the West Midlands. Hey, Sophie. She says, I have had a headache all weekend because of the sun. OK, yeah, I know, but at least the sun was shining. I mean, it was cold. It's cold in July. What's going on, Mother Nature? Wear a hat or a sort of cape. Or a visor or summit in a keep the sun off your neck. <laughs> Maya's been in touch and I had this every holiday when I was little. My mum would always tell me to do this. Maya's summer holiday is terrible because she's had to tidy her room. Oh. My room's outside. I live on a beach. I've got a rock pool and a lovely carpet made of lichen. What? This email's from Chloe. She says, once I went to my grandma's and I was sick for the whole day and my brother had my pizza cake instead. She couldn't eat her cake, Chris. Crabby, what do you have to say about that? Cake? I don't like cake. But I do love lamb. The right. meat. OK, OK, we, we know, we know, we know. Molly Rocket from Oxford <laughs> says, Hi, Chris in London. That's a brilliant name, Molly Rocket. Happily. My worst summer holiday was when I went to Spain, went to the sea, tripped, landed on a jellyfish Ooh. and couldn't go to the pool for two days. <sighs> oh, yes, I knew a jellyfish called Teddy. He loves peas. <laughs> Keep your horrible holiday emails coming in. Send them in to cbbc at bbc.co.uk. We'll be reading some of them. Elf out after Scoop. Do you like Scoop? Never heard of it. Uh. Hey, Londonettes, salute. Chris and London here at your service. We've got classic Tracy Beaker coming up next, my favourite. And at 11, we've got non stop <clears throat> horrible history. What happened there? I don't know, it's something with my throat. <clears> throat> it's gone now. Right. Well, all morning you guys have been <clears throat> emailing in and letting us know all about your horrible and boring summers that you've had in the past or that you're currently having to prove to this little fella that he's not the only one in a summer grump. Well, why don't you read some emails out and try and convince me in that way only you can, Yonko? <laughs> How do you know about... Do you know what? Everyone knows about Yonko. Oh, he's Yonko. OK, this email's from Ashley. Hey, Ashley. She says, I once had a bad summer holiday when I was in France. The house that we had was full of scorpions. Mm. And once I woke up with one on the ceiling dangling right over me. Ew! Uh, that was probably my friend Richard the scorpion. He loves mint sauce. OK, well, let's take a gander at this photo. This is of a Matthew who's looking pretty bored oh, in the summer. Oh, well bored. Is that well bored? See, Crabby, not the only one bored of summer, you know. Matthew's well bored of it. No, he's not bored. Look at him. He's just aghast by the amount of natural light streaming through his double glazing. <laughs> <laughs> this email's from Leah. Leah says... Hey, Leah. Hey, Leah. She says, I hate summer holidays because we went to the beach and a seagull stole my friend's sausage and pooed on my sister twice. I haven't been on holiday in two years and I hate crabs. Oh, that's a bit harsh about the crab thing, but seagulls do like sausages. It's, it's well known, well documented, that. OK, Jimmy and Tilda, hi guys, have said, we went camping, but as soon as we got there, it started raining, it rained for five solid days, and at the end, our tent fell down, blew away, and got stuck in a tree. Wow. Stay indoors. The outside's not for you lot. It's for us crabs. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Crabby. Well, <laughs> send in some more of your horrible holiday emails. Send them in to cbbc at cbc.co.uk. Please include some boring pictures of yourself as well. Uh, get permission from Parent or Guardian. More boring holidays here. As Tracy Beaker returns, can you think of anything you do like? Just one thing, Chris. Lamb. <laughs> I love lamb. 
Lab. I'm Tracy B. Well, hello there. Welcome back to your non-stop summer morning. We've got horrible histories on its way next, followed by a plethora of horrible histories and gory games. I love that word. I love that word. I'm a poor short for plethora. But oh, first, oh. you've been sending in electronic oh. mail telling this fella how much worse your summer's been compared to his. Stop yeah. saying plethora, Chris. It's not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read your emails. OK, this one's from Jessica. Hi, Jessica. She says, it's my 11th birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jessica. And she says, today, so far, I have spent the morning throwing up. Oh. I was supposed to be going out for the day, but I'm staying in watching CBBC all day instead with a bowl next to me. So please read this message out to cheer me up. I'll do one better. I'll give you a special birthday salute. That's just for you, that was just for me. That is exclusive. Just for you. How attractive. A bowl of sech. Thank you, Krabby Krab. Crab. It's the way he says it. It's sech. sech. Now, thank you guys for sending your emails in. Stop sending them in. We've heard all about your boring, horrible summers. We really hope they get better. Yeah. We know they will. Stick with CBBC, obviously. You know? Come on. But this is our favourite email. This is practically from straight out of a cartoon. It's from Anna. And Anna says, Once I had a horrid holiday when ants crawled all over our food and ate it. <laughs> so to cheer you up, we've got a summer song. Hit it! Ants have been pretty bad. Bunchy mothers and we're glad. Just to make it better, cause we couldn't be bothered to write a letter. Sorry. And it's happy summer song. Now summer blues are gone. And it's happy summer song. Can your mum and sing along? And it's happy summer song. We know we are not full of clean. At least you're not as bad as Krabby. Crab. Krabby Crab. Happy summer, Anna! Oh. <laughs> I hate music. I hate that song. I'm leaving. Oh, I, I left me lamb on. <laughs> what is his deal with lamb? I don't know. Anyway, hope that cheered you up, Anna. Everybody stick with CBBC, because as I said, we've got a plethora of horrible Pepper. histories and horrible histories, gory games, right through till 6 p.m. Catch this one from four, and I'll see you back tomorrow at 8 a.m. Here's horrible histories. Enjoy your summer, people. Enjoy it. Lamb. <laughs>